In my practice, we're very aggressive about trying to prevent heart disease. And by preventing heart disease, I'm talking about trying to prevent the clogging of the coronary arteries. And we can do that with aggressive use of statins like Crestor and Lipitor and Zocor and, and with other medicines as well as with lifestyle changes and omega-3s and baby aspirin, etc. And I think that it's very possible that if we start identifying people who make a lot of plaque, gunk in the coronary arteries at an early age and aggressively try to prevent them from making more plaque, we might be able to prevent most coronary artery disease. And in fact, in our practice, that seems to be occurring. Now, how do we identify those people? Well, certainly we use different markers, high cholesterol, specifically LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol. We look at smokers, we look at family history, we look at blood pressure, we look at diabetes, all the risk factors that might lead to high plaque in the coronary arteries. But then we also started using something called the coronary artery calcification test, which is a CAT scan of the coronary arteries. It's a very rapid CAT scan of the coronary arteries. It's usually not covered. It costs between four and $600, and it has to come out of the patient's pocket but it looks at how much plaque is in the coronary arteries in a very accurate and reproducible way. If we see that, let's say, a 40-year-old has 100 units of plaque in his coronary arteries, and we know from studies that a 40-year-old should have between zero and five units, we know that that person is on a course to get into trouble down the road a piece, not only in his coronary arteries, but probably in his carotid arteries, in his neck, going to his brain, and in arteries going to the penis and the kidneys and every other place. So we then look at that individual as being prone to getting into trouble with arterial plaque. And we get very aggressive, even more aggressive than traditional guidelines might call for in terms of lowering the LDL cholesterol to, in some cases, very subnormal levels and we find that when we repeat the coronary scan down the road a piece, we can often very much slow down further plaque formation, and in some cases even cause it to regress. So I think by aggressively identifying those individuals who produce more plaque than they're supposed to, by looking at risk factors and more accurately by actually looking at the arteries with a coronary artery calcification score. We can identify people at a young age and change the course of that condition so that they don't make future plaque or they significantly slow down the course of their plaque formation. And 20 years down the road, hopefully, are not in the risk group that they otherwise would have been in.